I would have locked all the doors and stayed in the grocery store because you got food, you got water, anything you might need, band-aids, you got it all. It's Kristen and today we are talking about Netflix's new series Black Summer, which is actually a Z Nation prequel. This story follows a group of people trying to get to a safe haven during a zombie apocalypse and we're specifically following this woman who's trying to get back to her daughter. Give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like my videos and of course drop down in the comments so we can talk about Black Summer together. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Let's start off with the good. One of the things that I really loved about this series was the pilot episode. I think they really set up this world and the way that they were framing the story really well. Let's say something is happening here and then you see someone happen to run by and then later we're gonna go back and see that person's story. So we get to see all these things that are kind of happening all at the same time and we get to go back and follow each person and kind of see where they're going. In this episode we also got to follow someone who became a zombie so that was really interesting to kind of see from their perspective. And then in general I thought that this show had a really interesting zombie premise that I thought was a little bit different than what we've seen before. First of all these people become zombies if they're seriously injured and die so we get to see for instance someone get hit by a car and then immediately they turn into a zombie so this is not necessarily one of those ones where if you get bitten you turn into a zombie and we don't really learn too much about like why this is happening but we learn that it has to do with a parasite so essentially I guess everyone has this ability to turn into a zombie in them if they die then this parasite will take over and they will come back to life or be reanimated as this zombie creature and they were also pretty fast you know, they ran at the speed of like normal humans. They weren't like slow, like give me brains kind of zombies. They weren't like the smartest, but they were able to like figure things out. Like there was some guy who was hiding out on top of a school bus and eventually the zombie realized that he could climb up on top of it too. There was also a really interesting Lord of the Flies-esque episode that I thought was really cool. Seeing all these kids who have bunkered down in this school being just like ruthless leaders of their own little society. These kids are not afraid to kill somebody. On the other side of things though, I do feel like our characters didn't really grow very much during this zombie apocalypse situation. They also made a lot of dumb decisions like someone's not wearing a seatbelt belt in the car and they go flying out the window or somebody finds a safe haven in a grocery store and instead of bunkering down in there and locking the doors they just kind of walk in and leave the doors open and obviously a zombie comes in and starts attacking them. If I was that person I would have locked all the doors and stayed in the grocery store because you got food, you got water, anything you might need, band-aids, you got it all. So that's where I would stay if I was in a zombie apocalypse. What would you guys do? Like Spears, we know that these military Military guys are after him and they are looking apparently for some loot but what was the purpose of that what do you need loot for in the middle of a zombie apocalypse what is money gonna do for you in that I just felt like they didn't really expand upon that story um, and even the story of Rose looking for her daughter we never see flashbacks with the daughter there's no real like connection that we see on screen between them I think that they could have really dived a lot deeper into the character arcs and the character storylines and even Sun I think she was a really great character she she was just trying to survive, but we don't really learn that much about her character. She's speaking Korean the whole show, which is cool, but they don't have subtitles up. So, you know, there's one point where she has a whole like minute, two minute monologue. And I'm like, I have no idea what she's saying. This could be like a really emotional, impactful message. And it just you know, goes over your head because you don't know what's going on. There are also parts of this season where I felt like they kind of made a little mistakes or they kind of just skipped over things and didn't show us them so that we would understand what's going on. So, for instance, there's a moment where Lance has injured his hand, you know, he can't really use it, and all of a sudden we jump to the next scene and he's in the grocery store, his hand is not bloody at all anymore, it looks completely fine, he's not having issues with it anymore. He just kind of completely skipped over it and it's like he was never injured to begin with. Or, you know, we see all of these people go into the downtown area where they are looking for weapons and it felt like everyone knew where to go even though they'd never been there before. And so that kind of was a little bit confusing about like how, how do they know what to do? Or, this is the first time you're in a zombie apocalypse. It felt like they kind of had like a cheat sheet that we didn't know about. Or randomly Velez had a lighter. Where did he get that from? Or Manny randomly has a spoon and a little lock picking kit. I'm like, where did he get that from? You could just like make assumptions like, oh, they probably found these things in the diner, but like they don't show that. So it just kind of jumps ahead and you're like, 
wait, where are they getting all these things from? How are they doing this? I also thought that while the pilot was really strong, the finale of this series was really weak. And I want to kind of dive into that a little bit. We're going to get into some spoilers because I was a bit confused actually by the end. And I think you could kind of go two different ways of how you think this season really ended. The whole deal with this season is that everyone is, you know, from different places and they kind of unite to come together to go to the stadium, which is supposed to be that safe haven where they can be evacuated to safer places. So everyone's trying to get to the stadium. In the last episode, everyone's fighting off zombies and we get to see a lot of people that we kind of met this season get killed off. It kind of shows that like in a zombie apocalypse, you know, anything goes, anything could happen and not everyone is safe. So all the people that we are following this season, not all of them make it to the end. And the final three end up being Sun, Rose, and Spears, who go to this stadium and it's completely empty. And then an old man kind of comes up from one of the tunnels and he has his gun out, everyone's got their guns out, they realize that, you know, it's all safe. So out comes Rose's daughter who you just see her running towards her mom and then it ends. And so to me I'm like, that was it? That was this finale that we're leading up to because I'm thinking there's nobody in the stadium. This is not really the safe haven. Nobody's here. What's going on? So first of all, let's just say this is the real ending. Why on earth would Rose's daughter immediately be there waiting for them? That just seemed a bit unrealistic. Like how would she know that her mom is there? So my thought is either that's just a really lame ending because that wouldn't happen or on the other side of things, we've already seen Rose have you know, hallucinations that she's seen her daughter. So could this be another hallucination thinking like this is my daughter when really maybe it's a zombie, maybe nobody's there. So I'm kind of torn between thinking either this is not really a safe haven or maybe this really is how the show ends in this kind of anticlimactic way where the daughter's just waiting for the mom and she just shows up. I would love to know what you guys thought. Were you on the side of like this is the real ending or were you on the side of this might be a hallucination? When it comes down to it, I think Black Summer is a show that is kind of fun and exciting to watch, but I did think that it was just okay. I felt like there were some issues with the story and just some of the dumb things that they did. And like I said, I don't really think that they developed the characters over the course of the season in a way that made you really feel for them and really understand them and see them on a deeper level. I felt like it was a little bit more surface level. It was still a fun show, but you know, that ending I think just really made me feel like that was the ending. That was so anticlimactic. The more that I think about it, I feel like the show started off strong, but it just kind of lost its way as it continued on. If you like my videos, make sure to check out my other reviews, especially my other Netflix reviews over here, and drop down in the comments to continue the conversation. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about Black Summer. See ya.